Hey, what's up guys, YouTube? Um, I'm actually going to be doing another tutorial. Uh, as you all know that the uh, Samsung LT has been released today, so what I'm going to try to do for you all is actually show you how to actually flash it back to stock so that you could actually get all the updates, safely get all the updates from Microsoft. And then I'm going to do a second video where how you use the uh, Jungle Flasher to actually flash it to the LT uh, Samsung firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing that you want to do is actually get the firmware and they actually released a new jungle flash uh, version uh, I'm gonna go ahead and launch that right now so just bear with me for a second it's kinda of hard to hold the camera and actually launch all this stuff at the same time so let me launch this first and then I'll zoom in try to show you what I'm doing so just bear with me for a second okay the version that you'll need for the LT Samsung is going to be let's give it a second while it loads up I think it's just taking a while because my computer is kind of slow hopefully I launched it maybe not Oh, let's try one more time. Okay, it's 1.75B for the Jungle Flasher. And, alright, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, might be a little bit fuzzy, but I'm going to just try to tell you out loud what, what you need to do. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is actually, uh, let's see here, you're going to go to the MTK Flash 32 tab right here, and then you're going to go to Intro Device ID, which is right there. You're going to click on that and it's going to ask you it's going to say it failed well that's because I haven't turned it on yet so you're going to click yes so it'll keep uh, querying it so I'm going to say yeah yes and it's sending the intro right there so I'm going to go over here I already hooked up to my Xbox got everything hooked up the SATA, the power and the uh, audio video cable so we're going to go ahead and turn it on now so right now it's on and uh, since I took a long time to actually turn it on, I'm going to have to power cycle it. So uh, I'm going to show you what's, what it's supposed to say. It's supposed to give you good flash chip properties right there, uh, but it hasn't. So we're going to have to power cycle again. So we'll do that. I'll turn it off. Try to turn it back on as quick as I can. And right there. It says uh, driver is in vendor mode, and when that happens, you're gonna get good flash chip properties, which should look like that. And it should also say it down at the uh, output as well. Okay, so um, now this will only work if you have a via um, via card, via chipset card. Uh, I think the other method would be to actually open the tray halfway. You have to open the tray halfway and then, I mean, you have to power it on and then you have to close it and then, you know, shut off the power so that the, the tray is uh, closed halfway. But if you, it would probably be your best interest to actually get like a, a VIA chipset and do it this way because it's a lot easier to flash it. So, so basically, yeah, once you get into that mode, that means it's driver vendor mode, so you're fine. So the next step you're going to have to do is we're going to read the firmware. So, so right there, you're going to click on the read button, and right there it's reading the banks. And after that it's going to open up a window, you're going to have to save that somewhere. So I'm going to save it to 
this directory right here. You can save it anywhere. It's going to save it as a samofw.bin. So we'll just say yes. Samsung, okay, and that's going to come up with a message saying Samsung firmware loaded to source and buffer. Do you wish to auto load Samsung iExtreme? Well, since we're flashing this to stock, we're going to say no to that. Okay. And after you do that, you want to go to open target firmware. And you're going to navigate to where the original .bin file is at. So, um, whatever that you saved it as before. So, you're going to load that up. And you're going to see it, it loads it right there. So, I'm going to be following the uh, the way that they, that they set it up when you do a light on. So, they say that in the Jungle Flash tutorial, they say to, after you load it up as your target firmware, you're going to have to click on the spoof to spoof source to target. Okay. And then right here, you just want to just verify that the keys are good. Uh, make sure they match for, for, bo for both the source and the target. Um, and from here, everything looks fine. So, um, so you should be good to go. And then from here, you're going to have to click on the Save the File button right here. And you're going to have to save the, uh, the change firmware. Your Sam CFW. So we're just going to just save it on the same location. Okay. And since we save it, we're going to go over to the MTK Flash 32 tab. And we're going to go to the write command, which is right there. Write command. We're going to click on that. And what it's going to do is going to go ahead and uh, erase and write those banks. So we're going to wait for that to finish up. And if everything is fine, then it should say writing verified OK. And then we'll go ahead and hook it back up and we'll test it out. Make sure it does not play backups. That's basically the way you check it to make sure that you flashed your original firmware back. Shouldn't play any backups at all. Should only play originals. Looks like it's almost done, it's still writing. And right now it's reading the banks. Okay, and right there it says write verified okay. So it should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it. Um, and I'll test the backup and we'll see how it goes. So stay, stay tuned for part two.